As he reached his mid-30s, Del Unser understood that if he was going to remain as a major league ball player, he was going to have to develop a new approach to the game. Unser was no longer the starting outfielder that he had spent much of his career being. If he was going to stay in the game, he was going to have to develop the skills of coming off the bench as a pinch hitter. And so, Dell spoke with his father, Al, who had played for the Tigers and the Reds in the 1940s for advice on pinch hitting. His father told him that there wasn't much of a science to pinch hitting. Most of the successful pinch hitters just came off the bench swinging. He advised Dell that early in the count, he shouldn't let any pitch that looked good just go by. Because pinch hitters often came into the game batting for the pitcher when there already would be a man or two on base. In that situation, the opposing pitcher would be trying to avoid a walk, thereby causing further trouble. Al told his son that the first pitch was therefore very likely to be a strike, and if it looked good, he needed to jump on it. Dell took this advice to heart and used it to develop his skills as a pinch hitter. He would often get himself mentally prepared to enter the game at any time after the fourth inning, loosening up his muscles, running up and down the ramp, and taking swings. It was a routine that served him well as Del Unser became the pitch hitter extraordinaire in 1979 and 1980 and played a pivotal role in the Phillies' first world championship. Welcome to Philadelphia Baseball History. On this channel, we talk about the history of baseball from the A's to the Phillies to the 19th century. And sometimes we talk about contemporary baseball issues. So if you love baseball and if you love Philadelphia, stick around and subscribe to our channel. How do you show your home team pride? With mugs, t-shirts, masks, phone cases, tote bags, and so much more. Check out tpublic.com and search for Philadelphia baseball history. It was June 30th, 1979. With two outs, Greg Luzinski had hit a solo home run to bring the Phils within two runs of the Cardinals. Gary Maddox then hit a single to center field. Phillies manager Danny Ozark decided to pinch hit for his second baseman, Manny Trio. He sent Del Unser out to the plate. Unser proceeded to hit a home run deep to right field, tying the score at four apiece. The Phillies would go on to win that game in extra innings. Unser would then get his next opportunity on July 5th 1979. The Phillies were down 3 to nothing to the Mets in the bottom of the seventh. Bob Boone started the inning off with a single. But then, Greg Gross hit into a fielder's choice, and Bake McBride struck out. With two outs, Danny Ozark once again turned to Unser to bat for his shortstop, Larry Bella. Unser proceeded to hit a two-run home run, scoring Gross and bringing the Phillies to within one. Unfortunately, the Phils would fail to catch up to the Mets that day, but it wasn't due to any failing on the part of Del Unser. Del Unser was once again called upon to pinch hit on July 10th, 1979. This time, the Phillies were down by two with two outs and two men on base. With Raleigh Fingers on the mound for the Padres, Unser launched a walk-off three-run home run. And with those three at-bats, Del Unser tied a major league record. He became only the second man to hit three home runs in three consecutive pinch hit at-bats. And while the Phillies finished the season in a disappointing fourth place, Unser had managed to finish the season batting 298. But in the pinch, he batted 304 with four home runs and 14 RBIs. Unser earned himself a ticket back to the 1980 season. And once again, Del Unser would make a name for himself as a pinch hitter. As a pinch hitter in 1980, he batted 316 and had six RBIs. 
Indeed, Unser's late inning heroics helped propel the Phillies past the Astros in one of the closest NLCS contests in baseball history. And then, Unser helped propel the Phillies past the Kansas City Royals. In Game 5 of the NLCS, the Phillies found themselves down 5-2, with Nolan Ryan on the mound. It was the top of the ninth inning in Game 5 of the NLCS in Houston. This was the deciding game. But Ryan was running out of gas. He walked Pete Rose with the bases loaded and nobody out. The Astros then yanked Ryan for Joe Sambito, who faced only Keith Moreland. Moreland grounded into a fielder's choice, but that was enough to score another run. With Ken Forsch now pitching, Mike Schmidt struck out looking for the second out of the inning. Manager Dallas Green then put Dell Unser in to pinch hit for Greg Lezinski. Unser hit a single to right field, scoring Greg Gross and tying the game. Manny Trio would follow up with a 2-1 triple. That scored Unser and gave the Phillies the lead, albeit temporarily. Unser would stay in the game and play the outfield. He would see the Astros tie things up again. This sent the game into extra innings, which was the fourth time in the best of five series. In the top of the 10th inning, Unser would get another key hit, a one-out double. Two batters later, Unser would score on a Gary Maddox double. That would be the run that won the game and the pennant for the Phillies. But Unser's heroics in 1980 didn't end there. In the eighth inning of game two of the World Series, the Phillies found themselves down to the Royals for the two. Bob Boone started the inning off by working a walk. Dallas Green then called on Unser, a left-handed batter, to pinch hit for Lonnie Smith, a right-handed batter, against the right-handed Dan Quisenberry. Unser responded with a line drive to center field, giving him a double and scoring Boone. After moving to third on a Pete Rose ground out, Unser scored on a Bake McBride single, tying the game. The Phillies would then go on to score two more runs, taking a two games to none lead into Kansas City. In game five in Kansas City, the Phillies were down three to two. Mike Schmidt started off the ninth inning with a single. Once again, batting for the right-handed Lonnie Smith against the right-hander Dan Quisenberry, Unser smashed a double to score Schmidt and tie the game. Two batters later, Unser would score the winning run when Manny Trio belted out a single. Unser's key offensive performance allowed the Phillies to take a three games to two lead back into Philadelphia, where of course, the Phillies won their first World Series in their 97-year history. Unser would play two more seasons with the Phillies, retiring after the 1982 season. But he will always be remembered in Philadelphia for his key role in winning the Phillies' first World Championship. If you enjoyed learning about pinch hitter extraordinaire Del Unser, give us a like. Tell your friends about us and subscribe so you don't miss any exciting tales of Philadelphia baseball history. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. If you have any ideas for topics that we can cover in the future, please let us know in the comments below. If you would like to see more of these videos, please consider becoming a patron through Patreon. Again, we'll have a link in the description box below.